Last time on Minecraft High School. After not being late to school this time, we met the school bully Brad, who thought it was funny to steal people's lunch money. After we found out he stole Luna's money, we decided to get some revenge by stealing his prize slingshot, which we then used to deal some payback and get Luna's money back. This might not have been the best way to deal with it, but that's just the start of our adventure at Minecraft High School. Okay, Joras, let's do this and try not to get in any trouble today. And oh, who's that? It's the headmaster. What's he doing outside? We're not late again, are we? Oh, geez. Hello, sir. I think this is the first time we've met. How are you doing? Um, Hello there, guys. Glad to see that you're on time again. Much better than the first day you were here. Um, Yeah, <laughs> that is true. Um, However, I have a little issue to sort out with you. So if you could meet me in my office in about five minutes, that would be great. See you there. Um, Okay, uh, Traoris. Why are we being summoned to the headmaster's office? That doesn't sound good at all, does it? Ah. Oh, jeez. Well, I guess we better go there. Headmaster, we'll see you in a second. Oh, no. Hmm, so I think the headmaster's office is this way. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this building here says... Let me take a closer look. Staff headquarters. Yes, this has got to be it. Come on there, Jairus. Um, Yeah, I think I need to speak to you, I guess. Um, Hello there. Who are you here to see? Well, we're actually here to see the headmaster, unfortunately. Ah, that doesn't sound too good. No, no, it doesn't. Anyway, he should be ready for you right now. Just head down those stairs, and it's the first room on the left. Good luck. Thank you for the luck. That's greatly appreciated. Treras, what are you doing? Come on, come through the door, you punk. We need to take this very, very seriously. Come on, she said down the stairs, and then first room on the left, was it? Um, yeah, headmaster's office. Headmaster, how are you doing, Brad? Why are you here? Headmaster? What on earth is going on? Churros, you just stay out here for a second. This seems a little bit serious. I'll be out in a second. Oh, jeez. Um, Headmaster, how are you doing? Brad, why on earth are you here with your beautiful looking bandage? Um, right. Thank you for promptly coming down to my office. Uh, Headmaster, why on earth is Brad here? Um, well, we have received a complaint from Brad saying that you caused this little head injury of his the other day with his own slingshot. Is this correct? Brad, this is this a joke? You're blaming me for this? I mean, granted, it was you, but, but Brad is a bully. Come on. He's, he's been bullying loads of people and taking their lunch money. Okay, if this is true, that behavior is definitely unacceptable, Brad. Yeah, Brad, that's completely unacceptable. Regardless, that is not the way you should deal with a bully. You must let a teacher or your parents know and then sort things out from there. Not take matters into your own hands. Well, yeah, I guess I did cross the line a little bit, so, um, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, this unfortunately means that I'm going to have to punish you both. Brad, you are going to help out the lunch lady by cleaning the dishes. <laughs> Shame, Brad. Um, and Daddy, you are going to need to help clean up in Block D, as the art class has had a little bit of a paint spillage. Do you both understand? Yes, sir. I guess it's fair that we're both being punished. Um, great. Now, let this be a lesson to the both of you. Brad, your punishment starts at lunch break. Dan, yours starts in 30 minutes. Meet me outside Block D, and I'll give you instructions. You are dismissed. Thank you, Headmaster. Brad, you look beautiful with your headband. Oh, jeez. Right, 30 minutes we've got. Oh, man, Treoris, that was terrible. Ah. Well, basically, because I hit Brad with his own slingshot and didn't really deal with a school bully as I should have, I need to go and clean up the art block in about 30 minutes. Uh. Uh. Oh, thank you, Treoris. But for now, let's go and see Jason and Luna, because I want to I wanna discuss this with someone. Come on, let's go. So after seeing him at the school gates, we went into the headmaster's office, and who was sitting there? Brad, of all people, and apparently the headmaster's really upset with both of us. And now we've both got to clean up as our punishments. Ugh, such a mess. What? That sucked so bad. I guess you did know you went a little bit too far. You know what, Luna? I guess I did. <laughs> we kind of discussed that in the little meeting as well. That's not the way you handle a bully. Yeah. Try not to worry about it too much. Get this punishment over with and you'll be free again. You know what, Luna? You are completely right. 
Jason. Yeah, and the bully got punished too. And he'll definitely be leaving his bully ways behind after this. You know what, Jason? You're actually completely right. We might have made this high school a better place just by doing this. Um, ah, that's the bell. Oh, geez, that is the bell. Um, You better go and meet the headmaster or you'll be in even more trouble. You know what? That is right. Treras, why are you hiding behind there? Come on, we need to go and find block D because A is here. B is here. Um, the library is over there. So it must be this way, maybe? Come on, Treras, we're going to be late. Oh, geez, we can't be late for a punishment. That's so bad. So, um, the gym is there. And what else have we got around here? We haven't actually had any classes around here yet. Oh, geez, look. There's tennis courts. That is absolutely amazing. It looks like there's a huge football field there as well. That's incredible. This school has everything. Hopefully, we'll be able to use those soon when we hit up a gym class. Let's take a quick sneaky peek. I think we got time. Whoa. That is epic. Oh, man. And there's a swimming pool as well. This school is awesome. But where are these blocks? We've got, um, oh, we've got block C and block D. The headmaster is already here. Of course you are. You are extremely tall, by the way, sir. Right, I'm here just in time. Woo, we don't want to be in more trouble. Right, it's a little bit of a mess in there. The art class have managed to spill an enormous amount of paint that has left the halls looking quite purple. Oh dear, that doesn't sound good. Yes, it's a mess, but that is where you come in. Take this brush and use it to clean up the spillages. It shouldn't take you too long, as long as you're quick and don't get distracted. Here you go. Thank you, Headmaster. Is this the paintbrush? Oh, jeez. Right, let's go and do this, Trust. You up for this? Ah. Awesome. Let's go and see what mess is. Oh my goodness! What have these guys been up to? Look at this! It's absolutely everywhere. Is this even gonna work? Is it? Yeah, it is gonna work. Oh, this is gonna take forever. Oh, jeez, I stood in it. I stood in it, Trust. This is going to take a while, so I guess we better get started. Oh, man. Oh, this is taking forever. Who gets paint this sticky and dark on wooden floors anyway? Charles, are you even helping? Ah. No, you're not. I can see you haven't even got a paintbrush in your hand. Oh, jeez. You know what? There's not much left to do. And what does this say? No entry to pupils out of bounds. Oh, look, there's a barricaded door over there. You know what, Trevor? If I clean these up real quick, I think we've got a little bit of extra time. We've done this really, really quickly. So, do you want to take a sneaky peek? <sighs> yeah, but he'll never find out. He stood out the front. He'll never know. <sighs> yeah, come on then. Let's go and have a quick peek. What does this say? Out of bounds again. Look, there's a barricade on the door. I'm just going to quickly try and knock this off. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, I'm so excited. Right, what's, um, what's going to be happening behind this door? Three, two, one. Ooh. Oh, look at this. It's like a really old classroom with cobwebs and stuff and holes in the floor. Oh, my goodness. What kind of place is this? There's still tables and stuff around here. There's still a blackboard on there. What do you think, Treoris? Ah. Yeah, it's creepy, right? Oh, my goodness. Even the, 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 the windows are all blacked out and stuff. Oh, this is so weird. And Oh, what is this? There's stairs. There's a ladder. Let's check this out. Let's just move this cobweb out of the way. There's actually a ladder down here. Come on, cobweb. Let me get you out of the way. There we go. Get out of here, cobweb. Oh my goodness, Charles, you go first. I'm nervous. <sighs> oh, come on. Okay. Whew. Let's do this. It can't be too dangerous. It's a school after all. What is down here? Oh my goodness, it's like a library. Is this a library that's got, like, cobwebs and weird stuff? It's very dark down here as well. You know what? I'm going to grab this torch real quick and see if I can light it up. Oh, jeez, no. No, I broke the torch. Oh, jeez. We're just going to have to go through here on, in the dark. Oh, Trioris, you can come down now. Let's see what's in here. Oh, this is so creepy. Why is this underneath the school? It's like an old forgotten library. Oh, there's bats too. That is super weird. Oh, no, there's a dead end. Great. <laughs> Trioris, are you down here yet? Oh, man, this is so creepy. Oh, I'm getting a little bit nervous. There can't be... There's doors. There's doors down here. Treoris, you need to come down and see this. This is a little bit weird. Oh, that bat just scared the life out of me. <laughs> Don't get stuck in the cobweb, little one. What's going to be behind these doors? Oh, man. You ready? Three, two, one. Open sesame. Oh, my goodness. There's a person down here. Is this a classroom? Oh, this is super weird. This is super, super weird. What's your name, Neve? What are you doing? Hey, who are you? What are you doing here? Whoa, whoa. Calm down, you little punk. Calm down, Neve. It's okay. It's okay. But how did you find this place? Well, ugh. It's kind of a long story. We had a punishment, and then we had to come and clean block D, and then we entered the classroom. It's too long to explain. Well, this is the sole meeting place of the Crows, a little group of chosen people who are here to learn more than what the school is teaching you. 
You know what? That sounds pretty creepy, but it's also kind of cool as well. Yeah, well, now that you've found this little room, which is located in the Lost Library, by the way. Ooh, that sounds creepy. I'm gonna have to give you a choice, and you have to make one of two choices. Got it? I think I've got it. Okay, what is the choice? Right, you can either join the crows right now, or forever keep this place a secret. Make your choice. Um... I don't know. I wish Treris was here and manly enough to come down here with me to make this choice, but, um... I don't really want to make a commitment to the crows right now, so you know what? I'm gonna have to just keep this place a secret. You guys seem very cool and all, but I just can't commit myself to joining a group right now. I see. Well, your promise has been bound to the crows. If it is ever broken, we will find you. Got it? Now leave and never look back. Okay, it was, it was nice to meet you, Neve. Oh, jeez, I'm getting out of here. Treris! Treris is just super creepy. I need to find my way out of here. Treris! Treris, where are you? Treris? Treris, are you here? Oh, man, I'm out of here. You know what, Trust? You are not gonna believe what happened. Ah. Well, I went down there, and there's, like, a hidden library, and then if you go past that, there's a secret classroom. Ah. Yeah, it's super weird. A gang kind of class thing called the Crows hang out down there, and they asked me to keep it a secret, so don't tell anyone, okay? Ah. I'm trusting you. Right, we better get out of here, because otherwise the headmaster is gonna be really mad at us again. So let's do this. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. We haven't even got a barricade to put up here. I'm stuck in this cobweb. Get out of here. Oh, jeez. Right. Charles, come on. We need to clean up this last little bit of pains. There we go. And then go and meet the headmaster and say nothing about the crows. Oh, man. This is so weird. Right. Headmaster, we're done. Um, are you done? Yes, of course we are, sir. Great. Now, I trust that you've done a good job because if you haven't, I'm sure I can find you another cleaning job to do. We did it. We did it fine. I believe you. Good. I'm glad you do. I hope that little exercise has taught you a little lesson. Now, go on. Run off and finish off the rest of your day. You've got a long way to go before you graduate. Yes, sir. And there you go. There's your paintbrush back. Right then, Travis. Let's get out of here. This has been a really weird day. So there you go, our punishment has been completed, our lesson has been learned, and I think we're all good with the headmaster. But, who are these crows, and will they actually leave us alone after finding their secret? Well, I guess we'll find out more in the next episode of Minecraft High School.